Catholic choose cremation? The answer is yes. Although the church continues to recommend burial of the body. Until the mid-20th century, those who chose cremation were denied the sacraments and a religious funeral. Usually this choice resulted from motivations incompatible with the Christian faith or contrary to the faith itself. Starting in 1963, the church decided to accept the practice of cremation as long as it was not chosen as a rejection of Christian dogmas or with hatred for the faith. Indeed, there are no doctrinal reasons to impede it. Cremation doesn't affect the soul and doesn't keep God from resurrecting the body. The practice of cremation is becoming more and more widespread, whether for health reasons, economic reasons, or even cultural ones. The church continues, in any case, to prefer burial of the body, wishing to express faith and hope in the resurrection of the body and the dignity of the human body. For these same reasons, the church recommends that the bodies of the deceased be buried in a cemetery or some other holy place. This favors respect for them and prayers for the deceased on the part of the entire Christian community. Such is the importance of this practice that burying the dead is among the corporal works of mercy. In addition, the church cannot allow attitudes and rights that could lead to wrong ideas about death. Definitive annihilation of the person, merging with Mother Nature or with the universe, a stage in the process of reincarnation, or a definitive liberation from the prison of the body. None of these views is compatible with Christianity. Therefore, the Church responds to the choice of cremation with appropriate liturgical and pastoral guidelines, above all regarding the handling of the ashes. The ashes of the deceased should be kept in a sacred place to guarantee respect and avoid inconvenient or superstitious practices. Keeping the ashes at home is never condoned except for grave and exceptional reasons dependent on local cultural conditions, and always with the permission of ecclesiastical authorities. To avoid any confusion, the church prohibits spreading ashes in the air, on the ground, or in water, or in any other way, or transforming ashes into commemorative items, like pieces of jewelry or other objects. If the deceased had openly arranged for their ashes to be spread in a natural setting, for reasons contrary to the Catholic faith, they are to be denied a Catholic funeral. All of this is not rigidity on the church's part, but a way of protecting the sacredness of the person, even after death. 